Hello, Raider Nation. Welcome back to Section 105 Media Network. I'm Douglas Sheffield, and we got a special announcement for you today. I'm super excited to announce that we're going to have Ross Ricks on today, and when he comes to Denver, we will cover the Raider Nation Golf Club tournament here in Denver, Colorado, man. I'm super excited. I met Ross back in Canton, Ohio. I uh, got to meet up with him in Vegas with Raider Puppet in one of his golf tournaments, and since then, I really wanted to cover one of his golf tournaments, man, and he's doing great things, man. So I'm happy to bring him on. So, Ross, when you're ready, let's get you going, brother. Got to stay ready, man. Always ready. What's good, Raider Nation? I'm good. I'm good, Ed. And you, brother, how you doing? You know what? Just living the dream. Um, Every day, man, one day at a time, just chasing it, getting up and getting everything I can out of it and on to the next. Always chasing your dreams, right? Dude, like I was saying a little while ago, you've come a long way, dude. With your golf tournament, man, since I was there in Vegas, dude. So I'm super excited to cover this golf tournament, man. Tell Raider Nation how the Raider Nation Golf Club came about. Well, I mean, I've been going up to Oakland for years. Had a uh, season tickets since 2003. Was going up there even before then, but I'd go up and golf, play at Lake Chabot, Metropolitan, you know, um, all the courses that are up there. And uh, just through you know, tailgating and, and hanging with all my friends. I just kind of wanted to carry on the tradition. So back in 2019, we just started uh, having tournaments. First two games of the season out there, we uh, had tournaments against, you know, got out there and, and just started it that way and just kind of carried the tailgate onto the course and it goes from there. And so I guess you may have played high uh, golf in high school. Did you play any college golf? None of the above, man. I picked it up later in life around, you know what? I grew up across the street from a golf course and didn't golf till I was 26. So kind of just is the way it is. I wish I would have played as a kid and all that would have been, you know, obviously probably a lot better than I am now, but golf's just a great sport and, you know, never too late to pick it up. Absolutely, man. Uh, now you have some flyers, man. So throw out the dates. We got the first flyer ready to throw, come out. So we got the, let us know when the first event is. All right, so September 7th, we're going to be in Huntington Beach at Metal Arc Golf Course, and we're taking on the uh, Bolt Squad Golf Club, which is, you know, Charger fans. We've got uh, Hank Bauer, uh, Charger legend, and uh, Charlie Joyner and Wes Chandler coming out, and then there'll be, you know, whatever Charger fans we can muster up. They're pretty scarce. And then we've got um, uh, uh, Mike Haynes and uh, a few other Raiders coming out as well on the Raiders side, and the Raiders side's pretty much sold out, like, I have literally one spot open for one person for that tournament. We're sold out. And I'm pretty sure before uh, the night ends, that will be done. Man, you know, you've done a lot of work with Charles Woodson and Woodsy, Woodson, Woodson Whiskey, man. So uh, talk a little bit about how you met Charles and how that relationship's going. Well, back in, uh, it was the summer of 2019, the, the Raiders last season. I went out there for training camp. And Charles Woodson was doing a charity tournament that same uh, same weekend at a club there called Silverado, real nice golf track. So I went out there, sponsored a foursome with my business because uh, I always had the intentions of doing, you know, smart home um, services, you know, home theater, cameras, all that stuff for Raider players, Raider alumni, all that. That's always been part of my business model. And uh, it just seemed like a perfect fit for me to go out there. Got to know Charles, got to hang with him, got to play a practice round with him. And it's just been, you know, gold ever since. Um, he's a great guy and he has total dedication to everything like you'd imagine. You know, just the same way he prepared for football he does with his wines, he does with his whiskey. He's just, he's all about it and he's 100%. And it's just, uh, it's, a, it's an honor and a pleasure to have him as my friend, for sure. You know, Charles Woodson has said in the past that, you know, he thinks it's a, you know, it's very important to take care of your fans, you know, and Raider nation is very supportive of the Raiders, man. And so has the, how, what does he say about Raider nation? You know, what is his feelings on Raider nation? I mean, I know he loves them, but surely you've had some conversations with them. And Charles, I mean, come on, Charles has so much love for the nation. You see the, uh, they just had that new commercial that came out during the, uh, the preseason game against the Cowboys is just epic. And, you know, Charles is front and center with everything with the Raiders, with Raider Nation. He loves the fans. He loves the team. He's a Raider for life. You know, Charles is a legend, and that ain't ever changing. Yeah, man, I've been a huge Charles Woodson fan for a long, long time, man. I remember I say it over and over, dude, every time I talk about Charles Woodson, but 
I remember waking up in 1998 when they drafted him, and I couldn't catch the news on ESPN before the bus came, so I, would, I ran to the library and picked up the newspaper. Yes, the newspaper to find out whether we drafted Charles Woodson, man. I was so happy that we got him, dude. He had a great career here. Coming back, man, he really helped uh, the team get back to the playoffs, man. And, and I love that he, you know, once a Raider, always a Raider. You know, he definitely embodies the Raiders. You know, even though he was a Packer, he, he embodies the Raiders and looks out for the Raiders. So it's a great thing he's doing, man. Absolutely. I mean, it was epic seeing his, his last game in Oakland, going out on top against the Chokers, raising the big O for everyone to see. I mean, that was the shit. How, how do you beat that? You know, riding off into the sunset, basically. Yeah, man. Well, he wrapped it up with the Hall of Fame nomination and induction, man. So great things came in for him after that, for sure, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. More to come. All right, cool. So you, we looked at one flyer. Now the second flyer that you sent me, the second date, it's, uh, go ahead and talk about these dates real quick. Let's get through these flyers. All right, so here's what's going on. is The first eight weeks, everywhere the Raiders are playing, we're having a tournament the day before on Saturday. So week one, because of Southern California in, um, you know, L.A. at, you know, I mean, we own, we own L.A. Everyone knows the Raiders own L.A. And once again, you know, we, we, we did the same thing last year against the uh, Charger fans and whooped them, you know, so we're going to do it again. Awesome. And uh, we're finally, you know, we're finally going to get that win in SoFi. We're overdue. We're, it's just going to get done week one. Um, week two, we're off to Baltimore. We're playing a peak dive track uh, called Bull Rock. It's an epic golf course and it's going to be a blast. Um, we've got an Airbnb less than a mile from the uh, stadium. So we got a bunch of people staying there. We got a few spots open there. We got uh, also a few spots um, available in the tournament in Baltimore. And I mean, honestly, to play a Pete Dye track and have, you know, the prizes and stuff that we're planning for buck 75 is just, it's, it's great value. Um, week three, we have our home opener in Vegas. We're at um, the Concord course at uh, um, Revere. Golf, Revere Golf Course has two tracks there. We're on the Concord course, and uh, that should be a blast for the uh, home opener. Week after that, week four, we have um, uh, Cleveland. So we're going to be playing them at Chimera. So we got the Dog Pound Golf Club coming out, Raider Nation Golf Club, and Chimera is a blast. I don't know if you guys played Chimera, but that's where we did the first Vegas uh, Raider Nation Golf Club tournament back in. It was the first year after COVID. So I had stuff planned for COVID year. After that, when they allowed fans in Vegas, that's when we were there. And we had our first tournament, coincidentally, on um, 9-11. So we, we sponsored veterans and first responders come out and play with us for free. So And uh, we also did a uh, charity fundraiser for Pets for Pets that day. Um, anyway, uh, week five is when we go to Denver. We're at a club called uh, Colorado National. It's where the Colorado Buffaloes play. Also, pristine golf track, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I recommend people get involved with that because that's also filling up as we speak. And then we've got the Big Vegas Tournament where we have the most spots available, and that's uh, Week 6, Steeler Week. We're at a course called Legacy. That's a place we had the Rod Martin Invitational a couple years ago. They painted the um, the golf range like the Raider end zone. They're really supportive of us. They come out, you know. They take care of us good there, and that's going to be awesome. Um, week seven, we're going to be back in Huntington Beach. I haven't made the flyer yet. It'll be out soon, but that's against the Rams, and that's going to be at Metal Arc again, and uh, that's going to be up to 72 players there. And then we have week eight, which is an important week because that's uh, that's Queef Week, Chief Week, however you want to pronounce that. <laughs> um, week is our and Raider Nation... <laughs> Raider Nation's involving a, in, invading a country club for this one. So we're actually getting to play a country club. It's called Spanish Trails. I went out there a couple months ago, did a you know trial run through it. It's epic. We got a great, um, beautiful setup. And that one's going to be, you know, those two October tournaments are going to be really, really epic. Uh, but all of them will be great. So recommend you come to all of them if you're like us. Because, uh, yeah, eight straight weeks traveling and golfing and Repping the Raiders, so get involved. Let's go. And we, and by the way, we have uh, at least all the ones in Vegas and in uh, SoCal will have uh, alumni there playing with us. And pretty sure we will in Denver and Baltimore too, but 
I don't want to speak before I've got shit confirmed. But, you know, that's in the works. No, man, you got me excited, dude. When you say that you're working on getting players coming to week five, man, I'm super excited about that. I love getting players on this channel for the Raider Nation, man. But look, I got to say, I've covered a lot of events, man. But what you're doing, you know, going around the country is really special, man. A lot of Raider events end up in Vegas or, you know, in whatever respective city that it is that whoever's throwing the event, man. But you're going out there, man, and you're going across around the country doing it, dude. That's that's awesome, man. Like, uh, do you have any, I guess Charles Woodson Whiskey is helping you with that? Or what kind of sponsors do you have? Would you like to plug some of those sponsors? Well, we, we always got to, we always got to rep Woodson Whiskey. Charles um, sponsors us for all of our events. Um, you know, we have that wonderful product to uh, share with our participants and, you know, have for prizes. And it's just, it's great to have Charles behind us. We, uh, we owe him the world. We love Charles. And we have, you know, a lot of other, um, uh, sponsors are starting to join up and uh, get involved with us within our ranks. You know, we've got um, guys like Custom Sticks Golf. They uh, do the grips and everything on the course. We've got, um, you know, Hempty's Golf makes tees out of hemp. We've got, you know, just, just a number of them are, are coming to the forefront and getting involved with us, and it's uh, it's pretty awesome, you know. And we've, uh, back in late March, we filed, we, we got our um, – unincorporated association and filed for our 501 C three. So looking forward to that coming through and then we can really take the uh, sponsorship and everything to the next level, man. That's awesome. Good news to hear, man. Like I told you on the phone, dude, I'm super happy for you, man. You're doing great things. You know, we're, we're and of course we're talking about Raider nation golf club. So Raider nation, find Ross on social media, uh, dude, but you know, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. How did you become a Raider fan? And you know, who are you, some of your favorite Raiders? Other than Charles Woodson, right? That's an easy one. You know what? That's uh, actually kind of an easy question. I uh, I grew up um, just loved football, and I just I mean I was you know I, grew, I was born in seventy, so around seventy five, seventy six. I'm five, six years old. You know, playing you know the pee wee football, all that, and just collecting cards and watching. I just loved the silver and black, the mystique, the way they hit. Just everything about the Raiders just was an instant attraction to me. And I mean, you know, we can go back and talk about players like, you know, Dave Casper, Cliff Branch, um, you know, ones I'd watch as a kid, even, even the great linemen like Art Shell and, um, you know, just Steve Wisniewski and all the different players race, Raiders have, you know, uh, it just goes on and on. I mean, Howie Long and Lala Zato and just the assassin. I mean, and I've made friends with great Raider legends like, Rod Martin and Ira Matthews that they're just the shit. Great people, you know, give, give you, pull the jacket off their uh, back and give it to you if you're cold. I mean, just salt of the earth, you know. Um, between, you know, Tim Brown's always been a favorite. Ronnie Lott, Marcus Allen, uh, you know, and, and you got to mention Bo Jackson. I mean, I go through Raiders for days and days. I've just, you know, ever since I was a little kid, um, I grew up on old Pirate Lane. I still, you know, that's where I built my house. I mean, it's, it just is what it is. I'm here now. So, yeah, once a Raider, always a Raider, and that ain't changing. Man, that's quite a list, quite a list, man, going all the way back, dude, showing that you uh, really know the Raiders, man. I appreciate that. Uh, so uh, how do you feel about this year's team, man? They just announced that Minshew is the quarterback, man. Uh, the defense, you know, struggled a little bit in the preseason. It's only the preseason. But uh, give Raider Nation your thoughts on this year's team. Well, here's the deal as far as looking at our defense and everything else. I mean, we didn't lose any pieces. We added some great pieces. And, you know, I just think that maybe, you know, the run defense looked horrendous. But it was preseason. Maybe we're not showing anything. I don't know. I don't, you know, it's too early to tell. And I'm not going to put a lot of stock into preseason. Um. You know, I went to training camp like four different days down in Costa Mesa. And, you know, first day I was there for the first day of camp. And one thing I noticed, um, Brock Bowers looked great. Um, but in camp, Aiden O'Connell had the best ball. He was a zip. It was fire. You know, it looked good. But I, I think a lot has to do with, you know, the way that whole thing went down is beginning of our schedule. I mean, we've got, you know, Chargers, Baltimore, Browns. First four weeks, those are all 
ridiculous pass rushes and AOC is not, shall we say, mobile. And I don't know the state of, you know, with um, uh, our, our, our tackle still on the pup list and, you know, the rookie Jackson Power is just getting off of it. You know, there's still a lot of moving parts for the offensive line. I think, you know, part of part of the decision has to do with our schedule and the state of our line. Cause I mean, I don't know. That that game against the Cowboys, it's hard to say that Minshew outshined AOC or either one of them pulled to the forefront, but AOC looked good until, you know, obviously the beginning of that uh third quarter, whatever it was when he threw that pick, the pick six. So I don't know. Um, I think it's just early to tell, but we got the pieces. I love that we got um, Christian Wilkins. You know, I love that we didn't do something stupid in the draft once it got to the point where we weren't getting the trade up to get the quarterback we wanted. I'm glad Brock Bowers fell to us. I think that's a great pickup. I like um, DJ. I'm the the third round pick. Our new tackle that plays both sides. Um, his name's evading me right now. But, uh, DJ Glaze, right? Yeah, DJ Glaze, exactly. DJ Glaze. Um, stoked on him. I mean, you know, and uh, Dylan Lobby, just he looked great in camp. Just real smooth cuts, you know, fast. So I think we have a lot to be excited about, a lot to look forward to. And I wouldn't expect, you know, AP to really expose a lot to our opponent as far as what our plan's going to be. But, uh, you know, there's some things that hopefully we'll be getting uh, addressed really quick before the uh, season starts. Oh, yeah, man. I was, you know, I kind of figured that Minshew would be the quarterback. You know, uh, a lot of people I know, AOC was, you know, a lot of people's favorite. But uh, today's NFL, I think, just requires that uh, the quarterback be a little bit more mobile. Uh, so, but, you know, again, AP only said the first quarter of the year. Or, so, you know, expect uh, AP to kind of keep an eye on Minshew. And if Minshew's not cutting it, then it's time to, for AOC to come back in, man. Uh, but okay, all right. So real quick, tell Raider Nation you said the spots are filling up. Oh, by the way, real quick, you mentioned Ira Matthew, friend of the channel, man, great guy. Uh, the one that I know for sure that I speak to on a fairly regular basis, the player. Uh, he is a great guy, man. Glad to hope I see him at one of your events. Uh, but tell Raider Nation since the spots are filling up, where they can go to get spots. All right. Well, um, Instagram Raider Nation Golf Club has all of the uh, the flyers posted on the thumbnails um you can also uh we got the website coming up very soon uh com, and then you know the flyers themselves have the phone numbers on it to sign up um i may as well throw it out there 714-846-7060 you can text or call that to get signed up uh, and we've got you know like i say tournaments eight week first eight weeks of the season plus we have week 12 planned in vegas which is uh donkey week and then First week of December in Tampa Bay, we're looking at doing a tournament out there. So everywhere where the where the weather's going to be good and we can do one, we're going to be doing one. All right, let's man. go Raiders. Let's go Raiders, man. Good to hear, man. Once again, Raider Nation, we are going to cover the tournament here in Denver. We look to go live, but depending on the the signal, uh, either we're going to cover it and post it later, or go live and cover it live, man. So keep an eye out, subscribe, uh, follow. Ross on the social media, get those tickets, fill it up, man. He's working hard to bring players, uh, you know, and, and bring the Raider Nation together with players and have some fun, man. So I'm excited about all that, brother. Uh, so we'll make sure to get you on other shows uh, and on this channel in the near future. Uh, we'll take a look at the uh, chat line real quick. I got Oakland Raider Savage in here. He says, what's up, Ross Ricks? I remember that golf tournament in 2021. First time trying Woodson Whiskey at that tournament, too, man. So, Oakland Raider Savage, man, shout out to him. He's got the Cage Match Show on his channel. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel, man. And, Ross, we'll get you over there next, brother. How about that? Sounds good, man. I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. And, yeah, man, glad you enjoyed the uh, liquid gold. <laughs> My yeah. guy. Yeah, man, that was a, I, I enjoyed it a little bit too much. Uh, Sal, he, he takes it easy, but uh, I definitely enjoyed it a little bit too much. Oh, look, and... Nevin, he's chiming in right now. Nevin Thomas, uh, one of the first 10 of the Greeley chapter here in Colorado of the Black Hole. So Nevin's going to be playing in the tournament, man. Anything you would like to say to Nevin? Yeah, Nevin, get ready. Got to be battling them donkeys, baby. Can't let the donkeys win. It's Raider Nation, no matter where we go. 
Raider Nation. So there you go, Nevin. You can't be getting trashed, all right, bro? You got to make it through the 18 holes first, all right? And then it's time to get on the woods and whiskey, okay? That's right. That's right. All right, Ross, man. We're going to go ahead and head out, man. Uh, before we go, though, man, is there a final message or any final thoughts that you have for the Raider Nation? Yeah, man. Just, uh, you know what? Hang in there. Don't uh, don't jump to conclusions with, you know, everything that's going on with preseason and all that because it is what it is. Our captain's our captain, and we're in for the voyage. So let's just all show out and, and rep our, our team. And you know what? The heart's there. The team's got the passion. They're going to be trying their asses off. We may not get it all right 100% of the time, but you know what? We got a team that believes is going to fight. And if we're there for them, you know what I mean? I think we could pull this shit out. Nine, ten wins, make the playoffs. Let's fucking go. Fuck these guys, okay? Kick the queefs out. Let's go. No more donkeys, no chokers. Let's win the AFC West. Rep hard, Raider Nation. I love it. I love it, Raider Nation. Making sure that you're following Ross on social media and signing up. Uh, and you can follow me at Homer Raider on X and Raider Homer on Facebook and IG. Don't forget to find me on Facebook at Section 105 Media Network. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it. Uh, Ross, man, thanks again, bro. We're heading out, all right? All right, man. I appreciate you having me on the show. All right. Likewise. Thanks for coming on. Take it Thank easy, you. Raider Nation. All right, bro, it's over. Are you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here.